there, this is Buffy Pribble, and I'm going to be showing you some uh, techniques on making another drink. I've already done two already, so please stay tuned uh, for, uh, uh, I'm just, uh, you can watch any of them as you like. So I decided that, why not can I just do something a little bit more different and start throwing some ideas out for uh, bartenders and guests and homes you know, hostess and stuff like that, uh, for anything that comes to mind. So I decided, well, I'm going to give you some of my thoughts and what I brainstormed some new techniques and drinks that will help you to make your guests and your, uh, and people who comes to your bar or wherever you're entertaining your friends and family, just ideas. And just remember these, some of these drinks are actually on top of my head and they are totally the original from me to you. Please enjoy. I mean, I'm not afraid to share any of my secrets. I mean, now it's on video. So, as talking about videos, you can find me on anything. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, all under same name of Buffy Pribble, P R I B B L E, which you can see right down there, where you can see the comments and sp subscribe. And please do. So I will get started on this other drink and I hope you enjoy it as soon as I give you the rundown and you can make some yourself. It's very easy and it takes a bit of uh, money to put a good uh, tasty drink. What you see behind me is my first drink called the Sunset on the Beach. Well, tonight I'm going to make a drink called the Royal Passion and as a shooter. And hopefully you all enjoy this. It's a whole new drink. So I'm going to get started. And I hope you all enjoy my little uh, entertaining uh, show that I'm trying to do my best <laughs> to make drinks and everything for you all. So anyway, this is a very uh, a different kind of drink that you can kind of use your imagination. Some of these things here, you, uh, these were used for the last drink, so don't uh, re uh, get discouraged that, oh my god, I don't know this thing we're going to work for. No, no, I'll show you the bottles that you guys can use for this one. And a lot of my, uh, a lot of my drinks are, um, on my bottles, have little stickers just so I can use that for my protection. And I'm not advertising any of the companies that make these wonderful drinks of ours. And I have to say they do a wonderful, uh, good job making every little tasty and sweet and and of course non-sweet drinks so i uh, a lot of my drinks that you see are pretty much are sweets and well this is gonna be the sweet shooter and right here is my sunset on the beach doesn't it look so pretty looks like a little sandy color like if you're looking at a beautiful sunset over the beach that's what it looks like so here is a little shooter glass you can show it that just a little bit and this is a very simple type of drink. What we're going to start with is a uh, ginger ale. And ginger ale is, um, uh, like I said, it's got stickers, so you'll have to figure out this. I'm sure everybody else knows what this is. But it's just for, uh, so, you know, I have a little cute little stickers on there to give you a little mwah, a kiss. Oh, there you go. All that stuff. So, anyways, you're going to do about four shots of this. And you're going to start with the ice, of course, and basically, before you get started, you want to have it chilled to keep your little tin. And, of course, if you're having guests or friends or whoever, you don't have to use these. Or if you're just making it for yourself. It's just, just can be nice. So, put about four ice cubes in there. And I said, yeah, four shots of ginger ale. So, just remember, this is a shooter. So you're not going to need a lot of ingredients to make the simple drink. And uh, also keep in mind, because it is a carbonation drink, you don't want to shake it when you uh, make this. You want to swirl all your drinks. All the ones I'm putting together for you are going to be swirled. They're not going to be shaken. Kind of. I mean, yeah, you can, you know, what do you call it? Um... Kind of give it a little bit of shake, but not too much. You don't want to have all the carbonation drink coming on out and make a whole mess on your on your counter or wherever you're making the drink at. 
This also gives some ideas to the bartenders to uh, give them some new fresh ideas to get sell to their, uh, you know, to their uh, customers that comes on in as well. So don't be afraid to try them out and see if you like it and if you think it's good tasting for your customers. Tell them that it's made, uh, uh, you've got the idea from me, your, uh, yours truly, Buffy. So now that we put the uh, ginger ale in, you're going to be going with the lime juice, which is about half shot of lime juice. So you don't want to overpower your drink a little bit too much citrus because you've got ginger ale that's already got that little bit of ginger, you know, kind of taste. So we're going to do about half shot of this. So it's not, so you're not going to do too much. And then you're going to have a flavor vodka, which is also a full shot. And the flavor vodka is about, uh, you can find any of them on shelf. It's got different flavors. I, as you can see, a lot of my drinks here, like this one, uh, and this and that, are typically on top top shelf brand. I mean, you don't have to go out and get the top shelf brand, but you can find the uh, brand that's closer to your uh, to your budget and what you want to spend for. Well, this is going to be a flavor vodka, and it is called Red Berry Vodka. You can use any kind of flavor you want, but I, what I'm trying to show you is to use the ones I suggested. So if you want to have the same exact taste like mine, go ahead and try to go with the same one. And it looks like it's kind of bottled. And you know, you can find it with the red lid and it's a clear bottle. Looks like an interesting cut of the building. Like uh, what they have, you know, in New York. So this is a full shot of that. Remember it has flavor you don't overpower your drink. So and then you're going to go ahead and add a splash of grenadine. You don't want to uh, because you got to remember this is a little overpowering uh, flavor. So you want to use a, just a little bit of it because you don't want to use a lot to um, you know basically um, you don't want to kill your drink with the flavor. You want to enjoy it. Like I said a splash. So you got your little half shot you're going to go and just count like maybe one or two. One, two. That's it. Should only be about just a sliver where you can barely get like about about a quarter of taste. You know, a quarter. And there you go. Just a little bit because you don't want to overpower that drink. And also you can uh, see my other drinks on YouTube that I uh, posted about last, um, you know, the last couple ones and uh, they're all going to be made by yours truly Buffy and they're all pretty much cocktails by me so I hope you enjoy every one of them that I show you and some new uh, ideas to uh, give to your customer or your guests that you have parties or what are you doing at that time so basically you got everything all together like I said you don't want to shake you don't uh, this is about enough to make about, make about up to two or three shooters the way I feel about this because you're about up to here so you can try to get about maybe four uh, of these little glass to go with your four of your guests or your customers. So basically you just kind of stir, you know, just round, around, around, like a, you know, slow cycle. <sighs> like you're doing the laundry. <laughs> yeah, you know, just enjoying the day. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and just fill up this little shooter glass. And there it is. It looks a lot like sunset on the beach with your new drink called the Royal Passion. It kind of does look like, because if you look at it, it's pink, like the jewels that you wear, you know, like, yeah, like a necklace or whatever you want to wear. But it kind of looks like that. I'm going to give it a little taste to give you guys a little, uh, my reactions. Now you think that maybe this is enticing for you to try it. Your, uh, for yourself in your own home or at your bar. You just. Mm. Oh my goodness, this does taste good. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not going to drink all the way up because I don't want to shoot it down. That's what they call it, the shooter. Because um, I don't want to get, you know, overly, you know, too much drunk off of my uh, videos. But anyways, that is very good. It does have a little bit of flavoring. You can taste that little bit of citrus, you know, in it because that's where the lime juice come in. You can taste a little bit of lime taste in there. Not so much because that's what I said. That uh, splash of grenadine is just for basically for your color. 
and that's what it means. It just gives you that little bit of little color. And, and then, of course, you got your ginger ale. Oh, mm, mm, mm. I hope that when you try this yourself at home or in your bar and you try to pitch this idea to your guests or your customers, I'm sure they'll fall in love with it just as much as I will. Well, after I get off. <laughs> and, and basically, um, I just come up with some new ideas. It's fresh. I don't take any of my ideas from any of, you know, the bartenders magazine, uh, you know, books and or site, web search, whatever. I, I really try to reframe as much as I can to come up with my own ideas that are original. That it has my signature drinks as what you see all on video on YouTube. So I hope that a lot of them will give you suggestions and ideas that oh. Maybe there is a new way, you know, give, you know, just to enjoy the taste that's different. It's not like an everyday that you do in your own bar or even at home. So I hope my ideas will give you suggestions and these two little wonderful drinks. This one is again, Sunset on Beach with the Royal Passion. You got both of them. It's going to be really, really, it's like a huge little party. Goes on inside your wonderful stomach and I'm sure... Your friends and family will enjoy and your customer will enjoy this wonderful party so you all have a wonderful night and thanks for watching every one of my videos and you can also su subscribe don't uh don't be afraid i'll be love to hear your comments and ideas and hit like down there or you know any opinions you know I, not to mention i mean you know i like to hear what your customers and your friends think when you make this kind of drink, see if they fall in love with it just as much as I will. Again, my name is Buffy, and I hope you all have a wonderful, splendid, you know, evening that tells about your story of your own drinks. That tells your st a little bit of yourself with a little bit of signature of these wonderful little drink, Royal Passion Shooter. And like I said... If you watch my last video, this is actually the sunset on the beach, and you can go to that one as well. And then I have other drinks that will be coming uh, your way that you're just going to have to look forward to. And I, and I hope that every one of my drinks and ideas will give you a little bit of a, uh, I got to try this now. Now go to the store and buy what, what you can. And now that you see all the stuff I've get, uh that I'm used and take a little bit of my instruction. Don't be afraid. Just watch this video over and over again just so you know the exact of how much I put in my drinks to make it taste really good. And of course, we're never going to get our drinks to taste the same the first one we make. So don't feel alarmed that if it doesn't taste the same as like mine. At least you have your little bit of signature added to yours as well. So you all have a wonderful evening. Or day, wherever, whoever, whatever time you're watching this video, and I'm glad to and en just enjoy this wonderful new flavor that comes your way. A couple more are coming your way soon, and then I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you again. My name is Buffy, and don't forget to follow me or comment or anything that you want to. Just throw things at me. I would be delighted to hear your thoughts. Have a thank. Uh, wonderful evening and thank you again.